Hey guys, I am back with Battle Box Mission 65 follow-up video number one. We're going to take a look at this Southern Survival Nature's Grill. So, uh, I think I put this in meh in the, the video um, for a few different reasons. But, you know what, I did say, you know, we kind of, we do got to do a follow-up video to see how it actually, how it actually works. Um, interesting so it's a it's a if you didn't see the actual unboxing video it is a completely disposable mostly biodegradable these these lava rocks don't biodegrade but they're they're their nature you know they're not like a chemical um, it's a 100% disposable grill it gives you a total of, of 60 minutes approximately cooking time uh, it's a one-time use thing you know, you just you use it and then you you bury it or let it burn up in flames or whatever. And, you know, then that's the end of it. So I figured uh, we have to give it a try to see how it works. Uh, now, there's a lot of warnings on this thing. A whole lot of, of warnings of what you can't do. Now, you can't do any greasy foods because it could ignite the whole thing. And this is bamboo. Hello, Mr. Ethan. Are you coming to see what I'm doing? And you know, so you, you know, you, you got to be very selective with what food you cook on this. You can't do like, like burgers, for example. Um, they can drip grease and cause a flare up, which would ignite your bamboo grill and things like that. So we're, we're just going to throw some hot dogs on there because that should be safe. Um, looks like a very dumb cooker. <laughs> looks like a very dumb cooker. Yes. <laughs> looks really dumb. Well, and those are the honest words of a five-year-old. Um, but so it requires just a little bit of um, assembly before you start. Um, so here is your, this is the actual grill part, you know. Now there are some flappy doodles, and that's an industry technical term, by the way, that you gotta open up. Okay. And then you've got to assemble this little mechanical rig. Now, I figure we have this little tiny fire pit in the backyard, and that'll be a safe place to test it out, you know. Dad? Yes, sir. Um, well, I like dropped this, it actually broke in half when I dropped it. Wow. It's yeah. pretty strong. Breaking rocks. Okay. Now we'll take our little assembled thing in there. You know my favorite phrase, you gotta be smarter than the equipment you're working with. Yeah. You have to outsmart cardboard here. So apparently I'm failing at that task. All right. Uh, lost this support there. Okay. So. I'm definitely failing at outsmarting cardboard. Okay, so there it is. And it's mostly steady. Now the instructions say you need to light the four corners. So we'll light the four corners. I'm going to use some good old sweet fire to do that. Maybe we won't. I'm attempting to light the four corners. I don't know exactly how you're supposed to light the four corners. Now they say light all four corners. I guess, you know what? I guess you gotta light all of them. I guess when they say light all four corners, they're just telling you to make sure you light all four corners. I'm gonna light every single piece. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure we now have all of the all of the little coals burning. Now, so, as per the instructions, charcoals are getting kind of a grayish color, like any you know regular charcoals you might use. Um, and so we're gonna wait until they all get kind of a a grayish color, and there's some heat coming off that. You know, I just noticed something. See that? See that, kids? See that? That's not mine. Smoking's bad. Okay. I don't do that. That's from a guest. So it's mostly gray. We're mostly there. And I'm impatient. So, and we got, we actually do have a lot of heat coming off. So let's get this thing on there. Let's try to be smarter than cardboard. There we go. All right. And let's, uh, oh, yeah, that's hot. Okay. Potato, no, not for you. Well, that didn't take long at all. Look at that. that. Yeah, so this generates some heat. This will. You don't want to eat those hot dogs? Because they look burned? So, this generates some heat. And I would love to eat those hot dogs. They look good. Um, it's doing it. It is doing it. So this is five minutes on the grill, and these look really done. I mean, they're hot on the outside. Let me, and they're hot on the inside. So I'd say that the thing actually does, does work pretty well. We are here after the fact. Um, it's gotta be at least, wow, it, it is, um, about two hours after we started this all up and there is still heat coming off the coals probably not enough to cook something but you definitely would not want to put your hand down on them you know what I mean um so you know they tell you you've got about a 60 minute cook time and I'm sure they were a little conservative on that to you know make sure that they're not overestimating and then people complain like oh I didn't get enough time to cook stuff so it does it does cook a basic meal sure does it cook uh, a basic meal better than just making a fire, uh, you know, or or some? I, I don't know. I mean, the hot dogs were were cooked quickly. You know, they were good. They were they were they tasted like grilled hot dogs. Um, and you know, so now I can basically just leave this thing in a fire pit and you know build my our next little family fire over it and 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 let it burn down. Um, except for the, you know, the, the stuff that's not flammable, which is not much, and just mix it into the dirt later on, I, I guess. Um, worth 20 bucks? That's that's up to you. Um, you know, I, I looked this up on Amazon. So there are two other companies selling this exact same grill under different names, you know, not Southern Survival. The price is about the same. You know, so it's it's not like they're gouging you for it. Um, you just got to decide. There, now, there are also other one-time use disposable grills that happen to not be 100% biodegradable, variable, burnable for cheaper prices. That's also, that's on you. You got to decide. But in terms of meeting expectations and doing what it says, um, yes, it does that. My big, my big thing is you are, you know, because... They warn you, you know, you got bamboo grill um, rods and everything. You are limited to what you can do on it um, because, you know, the whole thing could catch fire and burn while you're cooking your food. And some of the other uh, disposable one-time use ones are not. Um, so, so you know, you got you to gotta think about it and plan your uses. Um, I don't know. It, for me, it still stays in the, in the meh pile um, because... Yeah, it does everything it's advertised to, but it is kind of, you are very limited in, in what you can do. I I might be interested in just making a fire, bringing some fire starting stuff. And there are some extraordinarily easy, and I hate to reference Alpha Outpost in any good way, but they, they it was a, a relatively shitty kit, 
but it was um, a metal set up anywhere um, little grill set, and you just build a small fire under it. You can cook anything you want, regardless of grease or, or anything else, and when you're done, um, you know, you folds up into a small metal tube, and, and you pack it, and you're on your way, and it weighs virtually nothing. Um, so, there are pros and cons, whichever way you want to go, but again, it does what it says it does. So, I guess that's the end of that. But I'm, I'm not elevating it out of the meh into the like it pile, just because um, I think for the money I could I could get myself a, a real good fire starter and 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 just and just build an actual fire where I where I may be you know I'm just I'm not I'm not elevating it to like I'm leaving it in man just for the reasons I already discussed so what do you guys think seeing it actually work the hot dogs did taste good I don't know if I mentioned that but they they were good hot dogs they were real nice but that'll just stay there and we'll burn it in the next fire I guess so um, but yeah your comments what do you think. Now that, you know, I can say firsthand how it works. There will be more follow-ups from Mission 65, so stay tuned. And in the meantime, uh, remember, you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will be back again real soon.